Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get the regular updates of my channel and do not forget to like, comment and share. Hello guys, welcome back to SaaS with ServiceNow. This is part of ServiceNow CMDB training. In this video, you will learn about CMDB architecture and its capabilities. Let's understand the architecture of CMDB in ServiceNow. Here is the diagram of CMDB architecture. We have CMDB in ServiceNow, which has different configuration item tables. CMDB gets the data from external systems via different ways like discovery application, which is a ServiceNow application and easily populate data of different devices in the network in CMDB tables. Another way is ServiceNow APIs which can be used to push data into ServiceNow CMDB tables with the help of integration. Then you have service mapping, which is again a ServiceNow application, which can be used to populate underlying services in CMDB tables. Once data is received by ServiceNow, then it is processed by platform engines like Reconciliation Engine which identify and reconcile the data. Overall, match the data for different CI records and data is inserted into write CMDB tables. ServiceNow provides some dashboard and features which are used to monitor the CMDB which includes health, data quality and accuracy which can be monitored by health dashboard, connection between different CI records via dependency view, managing class of CIs via CI class manager. Let's see the capabilities of CMDB in ServiceNow. CI update history. When a particular CI is updated multiple times and you want to check what kind of details were updated, then you can check CI update history. This is my personal developer instance. In order to see CI update history, we will directly go to the CI record, any CI record. For that, I will type here configuration so that I can directly go to the CI. So here we have applications and we will open any CI like this one, application Linux. Now, once you will open the CI record, you have to click on this burger icon. You have to click on this and when you will click on that, you will see this history and then you have to click on timeline. When you will click on that, this will show you the whole CI history that when exactly the CI was updated. You can see here it was updated says unplanned change properties changed. So properties were changed on this particular day. So you can see here what things were changed. You can see old value and new value. Basically, if I'm not wrong, I think it was created at that point of time. That's the reason you only have new value, not old value. Now, what we will do, we will try to go back. And here I will maybe I will change this version and I will make it six point. Maybe we will make it seven point zero. If I will make it seven point zero and if I click on save. Now I'm doing this manually. And now if I go to history and click on timeline, the same change which I just did, you will see this in this timeline as well. So you can see here, it says here 3rd of July and you can see what exactly I changed. So it is saying old value was a version that is 6.0 and now the new value is 7.0. And if I go back, I think I can show that as well. Maybe I will select all and here so here I think it was just created so if I click this you can see that what all fields were changed I it was created at that point of time but now I change something so I can also see that so here you can see on this particular date that is 3rd of July and you can see I have changed the old value here and that's how you can see the CI update history. 
then when exactly that particular CI was changed, was updated, and what all fields were updated, that is also you can see in the CI update history. The next capability we have in CMDB is CMDB dashboard. As I mentioned earlier, ServiceNow also provides out of the box dashboard to monitor data quality and accuracy. CMDB dashboard CMDB view is one of the dashboard which shows the different results after analyzing the data in different tables of CMDB. You can access CMDB dashboard in configuration application and in configuration application you will see this separator, this section called CMDB dashboard where you can see different dashboard related to CMDB. Now this is the one which I was talking about CMDB view. Basically it shows the dashboard CMDB dashboard from a CMDB view perspective where you can see different metrics which basically tracks or which basically monitors the information about CMDB. Now you will see a lot of NA and the reason behind it because we are not running uh, the assessment as of now in this instance, in this personal developer instance. And I can show you that. So if I click here, CMDB health dashboards jobs. Now this particular show you because these jobs basically runs and they track and, and assess the whole data and then they populate the data in this dashboard. So you can see all these jobs are false as of now. And these are basically CMDB health dashboard scheduled jobs. So if you have CMDB in your organization in ServiceNow and you have to see data in this dashboard CMDB health dashboard, then you should definitely activate it first. And then once it will run it, it will definitely assess the data from all the tables, whatever data you have in your CMDB. And then it will populate the results in these different widgets we have like CMDB hierarchy, you have CMDB health scorecard, completion, uh, completeness scorecard, compliance scorecard. Now, all these information which is being visible here, we will definitely talk about this in later sections and later videos. As of now, we just I just want to show you the capabilities, what exactly you can do in CMDB of service now, where you can you can see we have duplicate CIs, orphan CIs, stale CIs. Uh, top incident generators, what all CI is like, we create a lot of incidents for those particular configuration items. Then you also have relationship health because CMDB has a relationship. That means one CI is related with another CI. Now, how exactly uh, the health is, how the data is, whether it's there any duplicate relationship, is there any orphan relationship, is there any stale relationship, that you can see in this one dashboard. But the main point is, you can see as of now, it is there's no data available. Moreover, we can't see much data in personal developer instance, however, in order to see the data, as I mentioned earlier, you have to basically make these jobs enabled. That's that then it, these jobs will run and assess the data and populate those results in these different that tabs which you have for these dashboard. ServiceNow also provides a great feature of CMDB for reporting, which is kind of advanced reporting designed as per structure of CMDB tables, and that is CMDB Query Builder. The CMDB Query Builder allows you to easily build complex infrastructure and service queries for multiple CMDB classes and tables. You can also query on the basis of relationships between different CI rackets. You can access CMDB Query Builder under Configuration Application. So when you will go to configuration application, here you have CMDB query builder. When you will click on that, this will open the query builder in a new tab where you can do different queries, you can do different reportings, you can do different type of data. Now this module is not similar to what you do in reports module in service now. The reason this was developed because CMDB is quite complex because it has different relationships, runs on, uh, hosted on, all those different relationships. So it's, it's really important to have a robust way so that you can query different type of data. And that is how this particular application was created by ServiceNow CMDB Query Builder. 
So as of now, I have not created any query yet. So this is the CMDB query builder. Now we will have a separate section just for CMDB query builder that how you can create different types of complex queries in CMDB query builder. But I will still show you one uh, query. Maybe we'll just create a one. So here I will click on create new. It will ask you. So maybe I will just demo first query. And then we have CMDB query and then we have service mapping query. So two type of query you can run. So we will go for CMDB query. I will click on create. Now here you have different, uh, you can say uh, elements of this particular UI where you can create the query, but you can select the data as well here. So here you have data. Let's say if I want to uh, run something on applications, if I expand this, maybe I will go for Active Directory service. If I maybe I will just pull it here. So that's how you can select that. So now if you want to uh, create query for all Active Directory service, so this is a type of class we have. So you can start from here and then you can definitely keep on add different, different, uh, basically uh, different classes here as well. And once you will run that, it will definitely give you the report. So as of now, if I pull this and if let's say what, what exactly it does, if I run this, so it is running the query. Let's see what exactly data you will get. So as of now, I have just pulled Active Directory service and it is saying me that it has uh, continued blocking. No, I will definitely allow. I will click on this run again because I should not block that pop up. So when I will run this, it is still running and it has OK. So it is it will show me the data here but it seems like i don't have any any data maybe i will select any other uh, other class maybe i will select let me go for applications here and if i run this let's see what kind of data i will get from this so it is running the query and yeah, you can see I've got all different uh, applications which are available in this instance. As of now, it's just 16 applications. And I think you can also uh, see directly from uh, instance as well. If I go to applications, yes, you can see. So that's how. So as of now, I just selected one class, but as I mentioned, you can definitely have a lot of reporting. You can uh, make complex queries. So. Uh, we will definitely see that in a separate section, dedicated section for CMDB query builder. But overall, this is another capability of ServiceNow CMDB. CI class manager. You can use CI class manager to manage CMDB classes, CMDB health and other class related definitions. You can manage basic information of the class attributes, identification rules, reconciliation rules, suggested relationships, and different health configurations as well. You can access CI class manager under configuration application. And here we have the CI class manager. If I click on this, it will open in the same tab, not a new tab. So here we have this CI class manager. You can click here as well to open the hierarchy and you can click here as well. So if I click on this, now this will show me the whole hierarchy of CMDB. Now, how exactly that CMDB, what different tables you have, what different classes you have. So here you can see it start with configuration item and we have around like 200, uh, 2,784 classes. And if I go to applications, it says 16. That means it has 16 data, like 16 records. And here, if you will see, we have basic info. Now, what all different information you see here, what exactly you can you can do? Basically, as I mentioned, CI class manager is just to manage the classes, to define the classes in ServiceNow for CMDB. So you can see, you can uh, change some basic details, basic info of that, dot, that particular class. And then you can see attributes that what different attributes you have as you can see we have around 92 attributes a lot of them are definitely inherited from configuration item that is cmdb underscore ci 
And then we have identification rule. So you can definitely create identification rule, manage identification rule as well. We will learn about these things in details later, but I just wanted to show you that what exactly, what kind of kind of capability you have uh, in, in this uh, CI class manager. So then you have this dependent relationships. You can also manage that as well. If you want to change the dependency uh, relationships between different CIs you have, you can also edit or manage reconciliation rules as well. And then you also have suggested relationships that for a particular CI class, what kind of relationships, suggested relationship you have. You can see here that if you have an application, it should be dependent on a service. It should receive the data from a service. It should depend on storage server database and it should run on a Windows server, a server or a Unix server. It is just the uh, suggested relationships as a as a as an uh, CMDB architect. If you are managing, then you should definitely see all these suggested relationships. And then we have this all relationship rules, whatever different rules we have that you can see here. And then you can also manage health as well, like completeness, compliance, correctness, health inclusion rules. And then you also have CI list. Now this will show you what all different CIs you have in this particular class. And as of now, you can see we have 16 records. That means 16 configuration items in this particular class. So that's, that's how you can use CI class manager. Even this particular section, like this particular capability will have a dedicated video and you, you, will, you will learn about that how exactly you can manage and work in CI class manager to manage your different CIs, different CI classes in your instance. CMDB access. Now who can access CMDB table records? Users who have CMDB underscore read role and ITIL role can read data stored in CMDB tables. Now this is just for reading. However, if you want to perform additional operations on CMDB, then you should have additional CMDB roles. Who manages CMDB? CMDB is managed by CMDB process owners as CMDB works as a foundation data for different processes. Process owners can work with CMDB architects to define the structure of data, the need for different processes like incident, change and problem so that organization can use power of CMDB effectively. CMDB data. Now, ServiceNow provides, ServiceNow CMDB provides different capabilities to populate accurate data in CMDB tables. Discovery application, import sets, integration with external systems. Now, we will learn about all these different data sources in further videos of this series. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.